and, and when I got there, we were all saying the same thing. Here's a white policeman killing a black young man. So when does this stop? And I can assure you that did not have happened last night. Okay. We had a policeman responding to a, a call, protecting the residents of the city of Berkeley. We're trying to indicate that this was not the same as Ferguson, as I alluded to earlier. And this is not just, you know, when we conclude our review and our investigation, we'll be in a better position. But at this point, it appears, and, I, and let me say that strongly, it appears that, that, that the person that, that, that's deceased that I do not want to name was pointing a, a gun, which was found at the, at the scene, at the police officer. This does not appear not conclusive that the police office initiated. I had the opportunity last evening to review the video of the incident. And what I saw in, the, in, in, in this incident is not what people portray. This is not a policeman in the city of Berkeley, half cock going out, and, and, and as we say, you know, black lives matter. Uh, this was not the case. This is, you couldn't even compare this with Ferguson or the Gardner case in New York. We have a majority of black officers in our city, okay? Uh, the mayor is black. City manager is black. The finance director is black. The police chief is black. In a city that's 85% black, we have a majority police department, okay? Uh, so our experience is different from a, a, a city that has 50 out of 53 police officers. Our police officers are more sensitive, and it's because of the black and white relationship and because they interact, and they have a majority of black policemen. Uh, so you get a better understanding. And that's why I believe that, that we're different from the city of Ferguson. Last night, everybody, you would have thought I was in Ferguson again. There, there's a disjunct to the conclusion that all policemen are guilty. And, and, and we all know 80, 95 percent of our policemen uh, serve our community well. So, so, so jumping to conclusion before investigating uh, it's not acceptable, and, and I have some fine officers in our, in our police department that, that I, I can assure you in their investigation it will be thorough and to the point.